In this problem, we are given this formula for a transverse wave on a string right here. And as we can see, it has an amplitude of 2.0 millimeters. It has an angular wave number of 20 radians per meter and an angular frequency of 600 radians per second. We are also told by the problem that we have a tension in the string of 15 newtons. Right there. Now, part A of the problem asks us what the wave speed is. Now, this is a pretty simple part. Now, we know uh, we have a bunch of formulas for the wave speed, uh, a few. Uh, but we'll, So, obviously, we'll want to choose the one that we can most easily use based on the values that are given to us already in this function. And one of our formulas for the speed of a wave is given by... Uh, omega divided by k, where it's the angular frequency divided by the angular wave number. And notice that both of those things are values that we have in the phase of the sine function right here. So let's just pretty simply plug in our values there. So that's an angular frequency of 600 radians per second divided by uh, 20 radians per meter. And now let's do a little calculation here. And we can pretty easily see this is going to give us a wave speed of 30 meters per second. And that is the speed of the wave. Part B is a little bit trickier. In part B, we have to find the linear, dens the linear density of this string in grams per meter. Now, our for uh, we have another formula for the wave speed that will help us out here. We have it given to us... Uh, a relationship between the, uh, the wave speed and the linear density of the string that also utilizes the tension of the string that is given to us in the problem already. So that's a pretty big clue that we'll have to use that somehow. And the formula is that uh, the, tension, uh, the, the wave speed is equal to the square root of the tension of the string divided by uh, mu, or the linear string density, or the linear density of the string. Now, we want to find a formula for the linear density. So let's rewrite this formula in a way that solves for the linear density. So let me write the, uh, rewrite this out a bit. So first of all, let's square both sides of this equation so that that pesky square root's out of the way. So this will become uh, the wave speed squared is equal to the tension divided by uh, the linear string density. We want to get the linear density of the string out of the denominator because that makes things a bit tricky for us as well. So to fix that, let's just multiply both sides by the linear string density right here. Let's multiply by this side as well. And it will cancel out of this side. And then let's also divide both sides by the v squared, by the, way, by the wave speed. And this leaves us with a formula that uh, the linear density is equal to the tension on the string divided by the square of the wave speed, or v squared. Now, we have all these values, all these relevant values here. We have the tension of the string, which is given to us as 15 newtons. And we solved for the wave speed in the previous part. It was 30 meters per second. So let's, include, so let's add the 30 meters per second in the denominator here. Don't forget to square it. And doing a simple calculation, we see that this is equal to 0 0.017 kilograms per meter as our string density. And the question also asked us to find this in grams per meter. Uh, so to do that, let's do a simple conversion here. Or we know that let's put so let's put a, we want to cancel out the kilograms so let's put that in the denominator. That's one kilogram, and we know there are a thousand grams in a kilogram, so let's put the thousand grams on top. And multiplying this out, uh, this gives us a value of seventeen grams per meter, and that is our linear uh, density of the string in grams per meter.